I joined Akash in 9th standard. So I joined early, I gave Anthe in 8th standard. Pretty much a game changing moment for me. Now I'm competing all across India. channel of Baiju's and I welcome you in today's class. I am your teacher Rankita and in today's class we will be doing something really very interesting. So I hope that all of you are ready. Good evening everyone. I can see there are so many of you here. Good evening. Good evening Nitin. Good evening Nikita. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Good evening Lakshit. Good evening Nila. Good evening Harshit. Good evening Piyush. Hi Hemlata. Hi Nisha. Hi Sunil. TBS. Yes. Sahasana. Dreamer. Ravi. Good evening, Farhan. Good evening, Muskan, everyone. How are you all? Hi, Sanali. Good evening, Sunil. Swella. Purna. Priyanka. Good evening. So, I hope that all of you are ready. Now, of course, in today's class, we will be discussing about the case based study question. Now, they're really very interesting, and of course, we can say that we are not new to it. We have been solving this question for a, quite some time and we had this in a previous examination here and there. But we will be looking into that how we can still solve them. If you are very new to the case based study questions, so here is a session for all of you. We will be focusing on how we can solve it and of course we have some interesting questions also for all of us to solve. So I hope that all of you are ready. Hi Bishal. Hi Diamond. Hi. I am good. Thank you for asking Nitin. Yes. Hi Pushti, we don't have Menti today, it's a theory session for half an hour, right? Ravi, we are not doing any chapter but we'll be focusing on solving how to, you know, how we can tackle the case based study question. Okay? Yes, Sharma ji. Bilkul Harshit, session ko like karna hai. If you are new here everyone, if you are seeing me for the very first time, my name is Ankita and welcome to the channel. Right, we'll have lots and lots of interesting classes ahead. So please do take a moment and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Yes, hi Aditi, hi Simran. Very good, session like kar diya. Very good everyone, hit the like button. Hi Shelly. Yes, it's okay. Nitin, we have covered that chapter. That's good that you know you have been taken care of. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Simran. Hi Atish, thank you, good evening, thank you so much Neha, very good everyone. So let's quickly start our session, right? Yes, okay, everyone quickly give the thumbs up and we'll start our session, right? And we'll just wait for our friends to join. Before we start our session, I would love to talk about the Anthe examination, a very, very interesting examination that actually help us to plan out our future. So if you haven't registered, please do register, abhi bhi aap register kar sakte ho, exam, Last date is 13th of November, so you can still register and write the examination. Register today, it's absolutely free. And now our channels pay, we have the you know the material or would say that you know the things that can actually help us you to revise. So please do register yourself. Yes, awesome. And apart from that, please become a part of our telegram group. We will be sharing the session updates, session notes, all of it. So join the telegram group. The link is in the description below. Awesome, I can see thumbs up. So here we have the question paper. Now, how many of you have seen the 10th class question paper? The sample paper that was released by the CBSC. Very recently, right? We did the session also on it. Yes, I'm sure. Please do tell us. Yes, very good. Yes, blue pen notes. We have just started with the lights. Very good, I can see Nikita, you can see now over here, right? And we did a session, you can go and watch that session also. So over here, this is what the, you know, instruction look like. And so over there, we have section E that talks about the case-based study questions. Now, it's a very, very interesting question. We'll have three questions, right? And these are of four marks. And I'm telling you, this is a very interesting way to gather those marks, right? And get all of those marks in our pockets. So it's very, very important. Yes, Nisha, I can see your comment. 
very good i'm so proud of you that you know um, majority of you have seen the sample paper harshad class 9th ke liye bhi that was that is kind of the you know uh, talks the, that we are having that maybe this time 9th class may have the similar pattern or may have a different pattern also but if you are in 9th class you will be going into 10th class so this session becomes really very important for you right to understand that how you can solve the case based study questions yes very good very good farhan you think that case based study question the free marks so we can easily get how many marks 4 plus 4 8 plus 8 so we can easily get those marks so i want all of you to focus over here so let's look into it yes i hope that all of you are sitting with your pen and your paper so that you can note down all the important points yes here yes sony please write please write it out yes so what we have over here is that how we can solve them so of course now these question looks very lengthy right very lengthy but they are very very interesting if you read them you will have the answer important thing is that they are usually the application based question right maybe they have they will write the concept in the story or a theme and you will be able to get the gist of it easily aapko samajh mein aa jayega ki what the question is asking yes and of course probably it's more of day to day life for an, uh, for example they can ask you a question based upon the environment ke ha in our environment we have pollution garbage dal rahe hain kaise so recycle karenge so they will be using the examples based on our daily lives this is a one good thing that we have to remember okay yes very good very good everyone then comes the second very important part and i'm sure all of you agrees to it that haha they are very easy to score they are helping us in scoring more marks and less time taken and of course you can easily solve them yes thank you so much thank you so much rashid hi tanisha hi yes hi divya no you have not missed we are just getting started right yes sometimes there's not a single answer that we can yeah so what is important for us to understand that in case based study question usually the questions will come from a day to day life and they are really very easy to solve very straight forward if you read them you will have the answer so watch it out for that now important thing is that please do read your ncert because sometime the question will come from in text right from the similar concept that you have in your textbook so we'll see from the examples right read your ncert read solve your exemplar and make sure that you are reading your ncert line by line awesome very good so i hope that all of these points are clear good evening i can see many of you have joined just now good evening everyone good evening neval good evening nashra good evening hello everyone are we clear with it come on are we clear with it yes hit a hit a like button everyone and give a thumbs up if you are clear with this now let's solve it right let's solve it and then we'll be able to understand that what is a trick that we have to use awesome chalo let's start and we have a very interesting question but before that i want you to understand this is a very very important point right here we have that you know you need to make sure that you read the paragraph carefully now if i if i'll take you through the questions right you'll be able to understand that if you read the paragraph carefully it's very easy peasy then comes a very important point of identify the demand of the question always highlight the important question important keywords right and most importantly you need to make sure that you had the clarity right if there's a question which is very much trickier you need to read the passage again right this session will be very short we will be starting in a bit yes and once you understand please do write it so here we go with the eggs question hi sejal okay everyone here we have the question yes here we have the question i want the answer from your side so we here we can see the diagram right of binary fission right the question is we have to study the process which we have in the picture and then we have to answer the question that we have from a to e right so let's see the question okay everyone yes very good aman very good this is the which organism we have can you answer this question everyone which organisms we have in the picture 
right? We have binary fission. We can see that we have an organism that is undergoing the asexual reproduction, which is the binary fission. This is amoeba. Very good. Now, amoeba reproduced by binary fission over here, right? And one amoeba will give rise to two daughter cells. First, we'll see the nuclear division, then the cytoplasmic division, and at the end, we'll have two amoeba. Very good, and it's a unicellular organism. Awesome. Now, let's see the first question. Here we have. Now, I want you to answer this question really very quickly. Which of these organisms divides by the above process? Now, we have already answered that question. D, right? Lakshit, it is uh, the question that we have are from the class 10th. But if you are in class 9, this session is equally important for you. Right? Very good, everyone. The correct answer is amoeba. Okay. Now, let's answer this question. How the above process is different from multiple fission? Now, quickly, everyone, in which organism we can see multiple fission? One example. Yes. Now, we're just recalling. I want you to actively recall the, all the information that we had. Very good, Plasmodium Tanisha. Tanisha is saying Plasmodium Ravi Farhana East. Okay. Plasmodium, very good, very good. Yes. So we have the multiple fission in the um, uh, in the plasmodium and of course the question is what is the difference between it, right? So we have the amoeba, right? But in the word only we have the answer for multiple fission, right? Multiple fission. So in plasmodium what will happen? One nuclei is present in the cyst, right? And it will divide. And what we will see? We will see that there will be multiple nuclei. And once there's multiple nuclei there in the cyst, what will happen? As they cannot contain inside the cyst, they will just break. The cyst will just break and all the multiple nuclei will be out. And each of these will be an individual, right? So, in the multiple fission, we have multiple nuclei, right? So that's a major difference. Over here, we just have two daughter cells. But over here, we have multiple daughter cells. That's a major, major difference. So if you have to write the answer, you can frame your answer in this way. Right? Very good. Yuglina, we will discuss about the Devanshi. Very good. Yes. Awesome. Everyone, are we clear? So you can frame your answer that in binary fission, we know that the parent will split into two. And of course, in multiple fission, we will have multiple daughter cells. Awesome. You can write this answer in one line also, right? And of course, you want to do a little bit more. You can frame your answer in this way. Very good. Okay. Let's see question number three, everyone. Now, this is interesting. I wanted to answer this question. I'm sure all of you have paid attention to the chapter, how do organisms reproduce? So quickly answer this question, which is, which of the following statement is correct about the type of reproduction? Yes. It involves two individuals, it involves a mature parent, it involves union of the two types of gametes and all of these. Which of these is correct? B, 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 I can see second one. Very good. All my dear bachas in the class. Are D say nahi ho sakta answer. D cannot be the correct answer. Second is a correct answer, right? See, it involved two individuals now, asexual reproduction mein. We're talking just about the reproduction over here. Okay? Correct statement. It involves a mature parent only, right? It's the absolute correct statement. Rest statement are incompletely correct. Very good, very good. So, the trick to remember is that we need to read all of this, right? And we have to read this and make sure to eliminate the incorrect answer. Yes, very good everyone. I'm super proud of you. Thumbs up everyone. Thumbs up or a high five. Yes, elimination method. Very good Aman. Yes. So what we need to do, read the question carefully, recall what you know about it and then pick the correct answer. You have my hearts. You are awesome student. High five. Awesome. Chalo. Your time is really very valuable. That's why I'll be sticking to the discussions of the important questions only. Very good. So here we have the second question, like the, the D part of the question. 
differentiate between the fission in the above and leishmania okay tell me leishmania is a unicellular organism or a multicellular organism what do you think yes hello hello hi jia okay see i would request all of you to please don't spam over here yes very good unicellular unicellular okay so what we have to do we have to differentiate between the fission so we know that fission is happening in amoeba also and we know that the fission is happening in the leishmania also so what is the difference between these one is happening in different direction and one is different direction longitudinal and the other one is in different direction yes very good it divides at a very particular point longitudinal fragmentation division very very specific points hi ali yes so over here if you see the flagella right the flagella will uh, will start to divide or basically we'll see the formation of the flagella first right and of course the growth will occur along with that we'll see the division of the nucleus right and slowly slowly once the division is almost done then of course we'll see the body also moving at a specific point and after that we'll have the daughter cells very interesting division we have in the leishmania right again it's a binary fission so you can frame your answer in this way in amoeba two parent cells split right in leishmania the two daughter cells comes at a definite plane with respect to its flagellum so this has become very very important Amoeba में there is no fixed shape. Absolutely correct. Amoeba को वैसे भी हम एकदम irregular बोलते हैं, right? एकदम ही change करता रहता है. So amoeba can divide in any way. कहीं से भी कोई भी shape लेके हो सकता है. But Leishmania will be dividing at a very definite plane and specifically for its flagella, with respect to its flagella. Awesome. So smiley for all of us. Smiley for all of us. Yes. चलो. Let's see the last question of this particular set, right? A question में पांच questions से. So the last question from that we have over here is, in which of these the are uh, the characteristics of the vegetative propagation? Everyone quickly tell me what is vegetative propagation, or what is vegetative re reproduction? I'm sure all of you are aware of what is vegetative reproduction or vegetative propagation. Yes, very good. I'm waiting for your answers. Very good, very good. Yes. So we have to pick, right? Which of these characteristics are there? Awesome. Very good. Asexual reproduction, implantation, reproduction from the vegetative part of a plant. Absolutely correct. So when a plant part like root, stem, and leaves give rise to a new plant, we call that whole process as the vegetative propagation. and it's asexual because only one parent is involved right so now that you know that we have to pick the correct combination the characteristics the characteristic features of it so now please do tell me the answer i can see your answers already you are you all are very very fast and super awesome involves two parent i don't think so right daughter cells genetically identical to the parents absolutely correct then the uh, the cell division is only mitotic yes Very good, very good. Yes, so option three, two and three only. Awesome, everyone. So are we clear? Now in this question, what we have to do? We have to try to match it up with the important concept that we had. So it was an easy question or tough question? Yes. Aman, I didn't get your point, bache. Thank you so much, Nandita. Everyone, are you are you clear with this? Yes, awesome. Hi, Ansi. Yes, I'm an easy, easy, easy. Okay, I can see all of you are saying easy. Yes, easy, easy question. Awesome. Chalo, let's move ahead. We'll solve one more question, and then of course we have to wind up the session. We will have more sessions, right? Which is completely, completely based upon the case based. Yes. Trendy cuisine. So I'll just quickly explain you, bache. Meiosis. meiosis is where we will see the reduction division the number of chromosomes will become half and in mitosis the number of chromosome will will remain same and in mitosis we will see the 
identical copy formation. In meiosis, in meiosis, we'll see the variation. Okay. And if you want to learn more about it, trendy, uh, we have done a video on the channel, specially mentioning about the meiosis and the mitosis. Please go and watch it. You will have a better clarity. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Chalo, let's move ahead. And what we have over here is a very important thing for all of you, right? The curiosity is your superpower and of course your parents are the one that can harness that curiosity in you. So please make sure you ask your parents to join an amazing webinar with Chetna ma'am, right? Where she will be discussing that how curiosity can be used of basically how your parents can help you in developing that curiosity. So please make sure you register for this webinar. It's on 10th of November. Link of the webinar registration is in the description below. Hit on the link, ask your parents to register. Right? Yes. Now let's look at the question from the previous year. Okay, now I want all of you to be very, very quick. Charlie, everyone, are you ready? Let's solve this question in five minutes. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Kalpesh, see our normal day-to-day -day life examples we have over here. Kalpesh was a 13-year-old boy with highly interested in the gardening. He was observing his plants, right, which were there at his home. He saw some leaves were actually bearing new plantlets. He was just beyond the surprise. You're like, wow, what is it? The question is, which reproductive method justifies the above case? Awesome. See, you all are my bachas and you're super interesting and you're super awesome. Matlab, aap sabko answer pata hai. Budding hoga kya? Plant ki baat kar rahe hai. Nitin, the, the fees for the English spoken class that we offer at Baiju's is triple line. Vegetative propagation. Acha. Okay. What is the plant name? There's only one plant name when we always recall when we, we talk about the leaves in the plantlets. It starts with B. Hi Beast, welcome to the class. It will be great if you can share your real name. Yes, Bryophyllum, awesome. So the plant that he is actually observing is a Bryophyllum, right? And Bryophyllum has an amazing property that the leaf will give rise to the new plantlets. At the edges of the leaf, we'll have these new plants and they will grow. And they will fall on the ground, they will have tiny roots and they'll become a new plant. So we have the bryophyllum. And can you name one more plant? We have discussed in our class. There's one more plant starting with B only. Yes, so the spelling of the bryophyllum is here. We have on the sc uh, screen B R Y, right? Bry, yo, O P H Y, U double L U M. So, no, so you will not come. Y double L U M Bryophyllum potato Bengonia very good Aman trendy trend trendy yes yes Bengonia is the other plant so of course in these two plants will be able to see the vegetative propagation through leaves we have to make sure everyone you are mentioning through leaves okay because in the question they are asking about justify so always mention that the asexual, sorry, the vegetative propagation is happening through leaves in, bar, in bryophyllum or the plant could be bengonia. Very good. Please, Ajit, please mention what is the problem. Yes, awesome everyone. Potatoes nahi honge bachche. Nahi, potatoes ye aayenge humare kis mein stem mein aata hai. Okay, the vegetative propagation happens uh, in potatoes. Wo stem mein aayega, okay. Bilkul Vaseem fix nahi hoti. Yes. Awesome. Chalo. So are we clear with this question? Can we move to the question number? Next question. Here we have. Okay. Which are the other vegetative parts which can grow new plants? Can you give two examples? Very good. You all gave the examples. Already we have. See. See roots may we have the uh, sweet potato. Asa sweet potato ko shik, uh, hindi mein kya bolte hai? answer de di actually. Sweet potato ko hindi mein kya bolte hai? Aur wo root se modify hota hai. Right? Sweet potato ko hindi mein kya bolte hai? Shakar kandi. Very good. Yes. Very good everyone. Aloo nahi bolte hai? Shakar kandi bolte hai. Thik hai? 
So again in the sweet potato we'll see the root modification. Stem of course we have for the potatoes as I was mentioning and you also mentioned and leaves when we have bryophyllum. Clear everyone? Yes? Are we clear with this? So dekho, do question dekhe humne and these questions are quite easy, right? Okay. Very good. Now, okay. Now we are almost there, right? I'll not be solving uh, more question further. But how many of you want me to share you the homework? Telegram pe to bhejenge abhi kisi ko homework chahiye? Free marks question hai. Bilkul case based study questions aise hai. Jahaan pe, if we read the question carefully, if we focus on the right words, we'll be able to get the marks. And 12 marks, see? 12 marks are very very huge marks, right? So, achche se agar hum padhenge, we'll be able to get 12 marks. Homework question ki demand is, I'll just show you the homework question, rest question mein aap se telegram pe share karungi. So here we have a very chotu sa, very cute sa uh, case based study question. Please do take a screenshot of it. I know Lakshit but isko solve kar lena. Ye soch lena ki question exam mein aja hai ga. Thik hai? Please do write the answer in the comment section and I will share a few more questions. Yeah, but we'll have a more sessions on case based study question, right? Achche se we'll be solving more and more questions. Acha, on that note, do you want more session on this? How many of you want more sessions on the case based study question? Today, just because of the constraint of the time, we can just, we are solving only two questions. But in the future, next week, we will have more questions. Right? Very good, very good. So, I am promising you, we will have more and more questions, right? Chalo. So, your, your point is taken? Yes. Awesome. Ajit, I'm sorry, I think Bache have missed your point. Can you rewrite again? Or if not, please write in the comment section. I reply to you. Chali everyone, on that note, we'll end our session, right? And I think Nidin was asking about the price of this course. It's the English spoken classes we have at Baiju's. So if you want to improve your English, especially the speaking part of it, we definitely can write our answer in the examination. We can write amazing essays. But if you want to, uh, you know, get more and more confident in, in the spoken English. You can definitely join these classes, right? Link of these classes in the, in the description below. Please go and check it out. Yes. Uh, Beast Bache, uh, the link of the telegram is in the description below. Click karo, aapko mil jayega link. But then sample papers of Ante have vanished, is it? No, it will be there. Very good, very good. Very good, Aman. Badiya hua aapka exam. Jaan ki khushi hui. Okay. How many of you wrote your uh, anthe examination? Three minute hai maare paas mein. Jaldi, jaldi batao. Kitne logo ne likha tha anthe examination? Vaseem. I hope that your exam was uh, amazing. That's why you're so happy. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Very good, very good. So all the best for your examination. And as I always say, we have got you covered. Don't lose that trust on us. Right? It's already done, Ishika. Is the pehle session kya tha, bache? From 5.30 to 6.15. You can go and watch this session. Very good, Pushpa. Yes, Bhavish. Very good. So if you are... If you love the session, please hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Right? Now I have to leave. Arsh ma'am is here and now I have a class. Right everyone? Daily routine please. Aman, jaldi aate hon uspe. We'll have one more session on that. Okay everyone, say bye bye. We have just one more minute and I'm saying bye bye. Take care everyone. We'll be coming up with more such interesting session. Do take care of yourself and keep yourself healthy and keep on learning with Baijus. Bye-bye.